Welcome to Patter Springs, Georgia, population 16,994, and home to the Bookworm Bookstore, an ever-growing staple in the community currently owned by Julia Davis. The Bookworm Bookstore is open six days a week and is home to over 30,000 books. Hi, I'm Julia Davis. I am 52. I am originally from New York, Austin, New York, which is Westchester County, and I currently live in Austell, Georgia, and I have a business in Powder Springs. In life, there are certain things you should just go for. That's how Julia felt the day she stumbled upon the bookworm. It's funny, I actually just walked into the bookworm to buy a book. Um, I've always wanted to own a bookstore and I literally was taking my mom to, she was going on a quilting class and it's not something that I wanted to go and sit through with her. So I waited and it's like, you know what, let me find a local bookstore. Um, and I Googled and there was actually two that were in the area. This was one of them. And I loved the way it looked on the outside. So I decided, you know what, let me go take a look at Chance. And when I went to check out, um, the previous owner said, Oh, uh, still doesn't have a bookstore. And I was like, well, funny you mention that because I want to own a bookstore. And she was like, well, funny you mention that because I'm selling. Um, and from there on, it, it was meant to be. Julia took a chance on the bookworm and the rest is history. I didn't even know this was here. It's a cute little tiny building. And then when I walked in, it was just, it was a lot bigger than I thought. And it just had this cute little homey feel. So I was like, okay, yeah. This is it. Being an Austell resident, Julia didn't know much about Powder Springs until her encounter with the bookworm. I didn't think Powder Springs was as diverse as it was, so I think that's why I didn't venture out. But now owning a business here, I realize the community has so much more to offer. Julia and the bookworm are great for the community. The bookworm's been around for a long time, almost 20 years, and so it's definitely a staple of the community. Uh, but with a fresh face coming in there and a fresh perspective, um, it's kind of this new chapter that goes along with all these other great things happening in the city. So it's great to have this rock of a business in the city, but then a new perspective that can change with everything. And um, she's definitely uh, somebody that's willing to partner and team up to make the vision come true of Powder Springs being a great place to live and, um, and just spend time in general. From what I know, and it's interesting because I do want to, the history of this building is, is something I want to dig even deeper into. Um, being in the South, and I think this building is, we're in historic downtown, so this is one of the older buildings. So I can imagine that this is probably a building that I wasn't even allowed into at one point, and I now own the building. Now that Julia is a business owner in Patta Springs, her main goal is to help bring representation and the community together. It's great to have children walk in and see themselves. Um, I feel like I'm making a difference because we're more than a bookstore. We do events, like today we have Girl Scouts that are actually selling cookies outside. Um, we do stuff for the, with the city with a lot of community things. I grew up in a community where everybody knew everybody. So to be able to do those events here, um, to know our customer base that's coming in, to, to know customers by name. I love the fact that it's black owned. I love the fact that Julia has all these different activities going on. The last one that I loved the most was when she had the Girl Scouts out here. So I came out and bought a whole bunch of boxes of Girl Scout cookies. So that's why I visit. She does so many things in our town. Makes it fun to come out downtown again. And then I, you know, I like taking my son in there. And we, it's just such a, it's a really comfortable environment when you're just kind of hanging out, look at books. In bringing the community together, Julia hosts many events with local businesses each month. So end of February we have um, Entrepreneur Day, Black Entrepreneur Day for Black History Month, um, which we partnered with a business next door which is Rooted. I actually heard about this event, I first saw it on Instagram, um, it was being advertised by um, the bookstore, um, so I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to showcase um, my jewelry here. Um, and what I love about it is that it's specifically for um, Black-owned businesses that are here local to the area. So it's a great opportunity to network, to get to know other people, as well as, you know, put my stuff out there for people to see. 
um, and it's been really great. We have uh, partnered with the Bookworm many times for a lot of different events, whether it's Entrepreneur Days to coming up with a new graphic for her or us to use. So we try to partner in pretty much any way that we can. We're here at the Bookworm Bookstore in Powder Springs. Um, this was just an awesome opportunity for us to be a part of something that really celebrates the black culture and uh, black entrepreneurs. So thanks again for having us shop the Bookworm. We're happy to be here. We have our book clubs. Our book club meets every third Thursday of the month. I think what's special about this book club is that Julia really makes sure that she has a diverse selection of books, but also that the books that are selected have a really diverse um, subject matter and have good representation and perspectives from a lot of different stories. Um, sometimes we have authors via Zoom joining us. Um, sometimes we will have um, off-site meetings next door at Rooted because he has an amazing outdoor space. Special Blends actually does our drinks for us. Um, they match our book covers, so that's always kind of cool. Julia's, I think she's allowed youngsters or anybody who loves to read or loves to come out and just be a part of the community. They, all, She just invites everybody to come to the store. It's so inviting. You just want to come and hang out with her. Um, so partnering with the community's businesses as well has been helpful. Powder Springs has been going through a lot of great changes in the past five years, especially the past two years. Julia's a great part of that as well, um, to where Powder Springs was pretty sleepy uh, for decades. And uh, just within the past two years, a lot of plans have been coming into place. There's been a lot of new businesses, uh, business owners, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of new life, activity, energy, and just positivity um, that's coming with all those changes and people are actually coming to downtown Powder Springs to hang out and spend a good time. Is there anything else you would like to tell us about the bookstore? Um, just that it's, it's more than a bookstore. Um, it's something that's going to be in the community for a long time. Um, but in order to do that too, we need your support. Um, we always want you to hopefully check with us first um, and give us the opportunity to get the book for you, um, to help us out, to check us out on events. Um, we love to hear back from, from our customers and some of the things they would like to see, some of the events. Um, we're always interested in how we can, can better the community.